What is up, guys? We are on our fourth mission for our Halo playthrough series. This is where we're starting to get into the good stuff. This is a silent cartographer. It's one of my favorite missions, even though it's fairly basic, but it's a good one. Anyway, I'm here again, obviously, and Dan is here also. He's still with us. He hasn't gotten tired of playing through the original campaign, so that's a good thing. And it's a good thing for you guys, because you don't want to just listen to me talk to myself the whole time. That would be no fun. Anyway, for those of you that are new to this, we do it every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is obviously the fourth mission. We're playing on Heroic because that is how the developers intended the game to be played. If you want to play on Legendary, you can, but it's a lot harder, and you don't want to watch us die a whole bunch because it does get significantly harder. So that's what we're going to do. We have only one skull on. It is the best skull, and that is the Grunt Birthday Party skull, which if you're not familiar with, you will soon be familiar with because it's great all right let's get started you ready dan i am ready let's do it the part time on this mission is 15 minutes based on last week we should be able to blow through that in a cool 45 we'll see how that goes <clears throat> there is a, a tiny tiny shortcut which can shave a few seconds off, but uh, I'm gonna show you how to not use the shortcut and then how to use it because it's really not that much of a shortcut. We're also playing on the updated graphics, which are pretty fantastic, and the uh, classic soundtrack, which is definitely fantastic. So I mentioned to you, Dan, before we started here that I was playing Halo 4. That game was gorgeous for being an Xbox 360 release. Oh, yeah. Love it's that probably game. the prettiest Xbox 360 game. I think so. A lot of people would argue Destiny. I don't think so. I think uh, Halo 4 I never played was that on 360. Super. I did not either. But I'll tell you what, Halo 4 looks good compared to some uh, Xbox One games I've played. Now, of course, that was at the very end of the lifespan, and Xbox One is still very young. And, of course, they are still technically probably better, but that game is very well done. I'll tell you what, the, uh, the lighting looks so much better in Halo 4 than in Halo 5. Not constant lens flare and blinding light. At the draw distance, I bet it's better than that game, too. Yep. It was pretty superb. I did notice, though, even in for Halo 4 in Master Chief Collection, the audio is a bit messy. The voices are all real quiet. Oh, well. All right, so anyway, for this mission, guys, what you want to do is obviously clear out the beach. And there is an achievement, I think, for clearing it under a certain amount of time, maybe, and not losing any Marines on Legendary. I think that's something. I did it forever ago. It's not that hard, surprisingly. Uh, so you can go ahead and give that a shot if you want to. But what's going to happen is they're going to drop us off a Warthog, just like the uh, first mission, after we clear out the first batch of bad guys. And what you're supposed to do is just continue along the beach and, and work your way to the map room, because we're trying to get to the map room to stop the Covenant from finding the control room okay. to fire Halo. Yeah. And so, naturally, you would just go in the way they're facing you. Now, there is a shortcut if you go backwards, but we'll show you that later. We're just going to play it like noobs, like normal, so you can experience it for the first time like we all did so many years ago. Oh wow, I, every time I drive the Halo 1 Warthog, I forget how brick-like it is until I get into it. Halo 3, I think, had the best hog. I missed that one. It was way OP in multiplayer, but it was God. still so nice. It was so bad in multiplayer, because you get like was... 30 or 40 kills without dying. Yeah, but it was so much fun to drive. I'm not even talking about the gun. Granted, the gun was OP, but uh, I loved the driving. But this is the first structure, and I really wouldn't recommend you drive up here first. But I'm going to just do that, and then I'll drive down here, and then we'll clear out the guys at the bottom. It's a little safer that way. Because the Warthog is strong, but it's pretty easy for them to kill you, if you're a gunner in particular. Uh, so here's a little tidbit you can use. Um, if you use the shortcut, you'll be coming in the opposite direction we just came, and you can hop into this tunnel right here, and it sneaks you around. 
I'm pretty sure, Dan, correct me if I'm wrong, the hunters aren't here yet. Is that is that correct? I didn't notice mm -hmm. any yet. Not yet. Yeah, I don't see them. So if you use the shortcut, there will be hunters. Or uh, if you do what we're going to do, there will be hunters. Because um, you have to go that way eventually. Anyway, so you get to this thing, and you're going to you're gonna want to go inside. Because that's what you do in video games. You find a building, you go inside. So let's do that. Whoa. I just almost got needled. Did that elite just throw a grenade against the wall? No, he didn't. Watch your back, watch your back. Woo! He was hiding under the under the ledge there. Alright, so we're gonna go in, because we're thinking, hey look, we found the we found the map room. Mission over, completed. And the elites to kill, no big deal, right? No problem. And it is no problem. Yet. Watch your right. So, playing Halo 4, I was thinking, yeah, I'm gonna zoom in with my AR. There is no zoom in with the AR in Halo 4. <laughs> That's right. Let's keep going Miss on. that. Dang loading, I hate it when it pulls people through. Look, we found a way to go. Don't There's things here. The There's bad guys, we're gonna go this way. Kill these elites. Oh no! That elite, that, that mean elite over there, he locked the door. And look how goofy they look in their old graphics. They've locked the door. So that's the thing, is if you go this way first, they lock the door and you can't progress. You need to go that way and you can't go that way. So now, go all the way back. So the shortcut is you go to the next place that we're headed right now first. And you save yourself all this hassle. You only have to fight one batch of guys here. They don't lock the door on you and it saves a lot of time. So for those of you going for the part time, that would be the, the way to do it. And that's where we came from over there, so we're just going to continue going in the same direction. But all you have to do is, if you want to do the shortcut, is just turn right instead of going straight when you get the hog originally. What is he doing? Get in the car! Man, even this game looks really nice for being a, uh, this was Halo Reach era remake and the graphics are still super nice looking. Oh yeah, it's really nice. So that's where we want to go right there. Right up that, uh, path. If you keep going around, you'll end up right back at the original, uh, beachhead because it's a circle, like most islands. Complete circle. There's a lot of, uh, ammo and stuff down here at this crashed hog if you ever need it. You probably won't. Unless you're on Legendary. Through the Warthog. It's so hard to kill things. It's not as effective as I would like. Yeah, the gun has a really wide spread on it. Yeah. Kind of like the AR. You're kind of just, uh, uh oh. I'm all out of blue lights in my AR. And my other gun. I do not remember that being a problem in this game. Do you remember that? No. Maybe, maybe it's me. Or maybe they adjusted it to match with Halo 5. Halo 5, a.k.a. the Ammo Hunter. Whoa. Spend more time in Halo 5 not being able to shoot than you do being able to shoot. Yeah, Halo 5 forces you to pick up every gun you see. And most of them are ineffective against the enemies you're fighting, so that's a, that's a treat. Oh. I'm so nervous about these grenades. Uh -uh. Jake Scott, these videos are so entertaining. I'm glad you like them, man. Sabri, <laughs> hey Anthony, I like your videos. Keep up the good work. Thanks for watching. You keep up your good work of watching. So this is where we fight another batch of hunters, and this time it's not in an enclosed little hangar bay like it was before. So they gave us these nice handy dandy overshields. I'm going to not use it though. Dan, do you have a pistol on you? Yep. I don't. Alright, I'm going to kite him. You shoot him in the ass. Way to go. Hunters look so badass in this game. Their armor's almost silver. Uh oh. They were so much more heavily armored in this too. I mean, it looks like it. They have a lot more orange in the later games. Uh oh, other bad guys are starting to attack. This one's really confused. Why can't I hit you this guy? You want a pistol? 
I don't know. It'd be good if you could, though. <laughs> here, here. Now shoot him. Shoot him now. Shoot him now. Oh my goodness. Okay. He'll die any second anyway. He's powdery. There, there he, goes. he goes. So the trick with the hunters in Halo 1 is if you have a sniper shotgun or pistol, any single one shot to their back, the orange spot, will put them down quickly. You know what I need to do real quick? I just realized. My party is, uh, made it open again. I gotta stop doing that. If I remember correctly, there's a pistol. Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and borrow this pistol. Grab some bullets. Now we can roll. I'm gonna save the uh, OS for the fight back. Okay. I, don't, took I, don't, think gonna, I don't Don't we have some more up ahead, though? Uh, yeah. But they're gonna get burnt up on the hunters and invisible elites down there, I'm thinking. Alright. I could be wrong. Also, I have no health. I should <laughs> I should get health too. Screw it. I'm going rogue. I'm, I'm not using any of their conventional planned okay. methods of survival. If I have to, I can give you a little health health bump. A health high five. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go ahead and give me a health high five for those of you just tuning in. This is a health high five. Alright. <laughs> it looks considerably like he's murdering me and that's because he is but then you respawn and get all your stuff back where you're did i here. die you're over here by this little rock i couldn't i can't oh i couldn't see me through the foliage oh no oh there it is there's my pistol all right so now we're good to go so that's one of the tricks you can use when damn those stupid noob shots you're playing on legendary and not and you don't have uh like loads of bad guys nearby you give yourselves a little health high five and You'll be ready to move on to the next segment. Don't do it if there's enemies near though, because you won't respawn and then... And then you'll be in a, a problematic situation. But you know what else I like about Halo 4 so much is the jackals. When you shoot a jackal in his weak spot, he drops his shield perfectly for a headshot. It's probably the easiest batch of jackals to kill ever. Halo 5 Halo is the, the worst. They're impossible to shoot effectively. I mean, not impossible, but yeah, so there's a couple more OS's right here. There's three of them, which is very strange. I've always wondered why there were three here. Um, but I'm going to grab one of them, because that leaves still three extra ones. Once we get down here, are the invisible guys now or later? I think Hunters I are now, right? I think Hunters now? Hunters. Yeah. I thought Hunters were later. I think you're right, though. Invisible's on the way yep, back. Yep, you're right. You're right. All right, I'm just going to handle mine. You handle yours. Yo, it's so easy. Oh. Not as easy when they're farther away. Oh my gosh. There we go. I just shot you in the back. Do you have an orange spot? Yeah, you did. <laughs> I don't have an orange spot. I think I have a red spot now. Appreciate that, though. Have a little payback. I also think the skull is on this map. It's, on this map is in this area right here. It's, it's a very top. hard jump to make. Yeah, it's a very hard jump to make. It took me like an hour and a half to get. Isn't there an elite over here? No. On the way right? back, the invisible ones. Yeah. So the jump you want to make is actually over here. Uh, I don't remember now. It's this way. There's something over here. Where's the terminal? Do you remember where the terminal is? It's by the first hunters we fought. Outside? Oh yeah, so you have to grenade jump over there, right? There's the skull. Yep. yep. That's a super hard grenade jump, because it's a, a very steep angle, and you have to crouch jump and grenade jump all in one thing, and I'm not going to do it, because it took me forever, and I'm, I'm pretty good at platforming in Halo. <sighs> Before we activate this, let's look at the classic graphics. Ah, the center thing's identical. They didn't change it. Uh, they changed it a tiny bit, but it's almost identical. There's still something nice about these old graphics, I gotta tell you. Maybe it's just the feels, the nostalgia, but uh, I love it. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, let's handle this. You're gonna have to remind me where the uh, where the skull is. I just showed you. You mean the terminal? Oh, not the skull. Yeah, the terminal. I don't remember. I'll remember as soon as... Hey, there he is! There's the guy that locked the door. So if you come here first, I don't even know... Do they have that little scene? Or did they just skip it all together? I think they probably still haven't come out. Yeah, we got invisible guys. Yeah. Oh, switch to the old graphics for invisible guys. <laughs> Remember? It's super easy to see them when you have the old graphics on. 
the new graphics make them make them actually it's not so much different when they don't have their swords the swords stood out but I can't aim for crap one thing to note if you are playing this for the first time the invisible guys are very weak they go down super quick you don't really have to worry about them that much unless you and, Unless you're on legendary, then you want to worry about them. I still have a little bit of my first row of overshield. I'm gonna grab a second one though. We can just burn them all now. So here's another yeah, little tip: I if you want to save some extra, oh you can't. If you want to yeah, save some me a little extra bit. time, you can just. That's a little bit much. <laughs> All your stuff went in the corner over there. If you want to save a little bit of time, you can scale this mountain right here and jump down and go back around, and you'll avoid a couple of fights. But um, you can just go back the way you came, and that's how you're supposed to go technically. And since we want to show you the terminal, we're going to go this way anyway. And I'm sure... Are there more hunters now, or just regular guys? I think it's just regular guys, isn't it? I don't think there's hunters. I usually just jump off over there. I do too. That's why I don't remember. I think it's just regular guys. Yeah, spirit. Oh, there's a terminal right there. It's that yellow flashing light on the right-hand side. That's right. Dude, the cooldown on the plasma rifle is wicked long in this game, but it's a much stronger version of the plasma rifle, so I guess that's fair. I'm all out of pistol ammo again. So you're going to want to turn on the old graphics if you want to get the terminal. And this right here, you just hold X and watch a little scene. But uh, we don't want to do that because it will take too long. No, new graphics That's... for terminal. What did I say? Did I say old graphics? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you want new graphics. It won't show up at all in the old graphics because it's not actually a thing. There's no thing. We're just going to go back around. And now we go back to the first place we went. And actually a rather large structure it doesn't seem like it's that big from the outside but it is much bigger than the one we were just in which is essentially just like two rooms how much do you miss sprinting dan i miss it every time i move in this game yeah at least the run speed doesn't seem really slow but sprinting would be nice it would be nice but we're gonna go back around this way just so everybody sees how it just loops not that it's a hard concept. And that's where we just went up upstairs, so that's why you can drop down, kill these jackals if you want to. There's a rocket lawn chair right here. You want to grab the rockets? You go ahead. All right. I won't argue. Do be careful. On legendary, the jackals can kill you quickly. And if you jump down the wrong way, you're going to lose most of your health, especially your OS if you have your OS. So Definitely a good idea to use some caution. There's another skull up top of this rock. That's right, there is. So you can go around this way, and there there are jackals up there, and you can usually kill them from up top if you're really trying to be careful, but it doesn't matter. On this difficulty, jackals don't pose that much of a threat. There should be some grunts and some jackals, and then, if memory serves, the skull is just all the way at the end, isn't it? Yeah. There it is. Look at that. And with the old graphics, nothing. New graphics, skull. Alright, let's go. I unlocked the famine skull. Wish I didn't say that every time. It makes me feel like I missed something the first time. Shall we go? Yeah. New hog! Hey, jump! Isn't there a thing where on the bottom of his foot there's like someone's birthday? Is that a thing in Halo 1? Or is that a different Halo? Remember I that? I don't know. It's a thing. I'm, I wonder if it's on the new graphics or the old... Well, whatever. Screw it. Who cares? We have two hogs now. We can drive separate if we want to, but... Buddy system. Stranger danger. You know. Everything your mom touches is true. And this is where we started. See? It's actually a very small circle. Let's get a new marine. Is, are there more marines still here? Aren't they still there or did they leave? I thought they left on the pelican. Oh, oh they're there. They are here. Which one do you want? Well, not that yep, one. That one's not that broken. one. That one's that one's got some damage. 
You can go ahead and kill them if you want to, because there are no more marines to fight you. No big deal. This is also a great map for doing warthog launches. If you guys don't know what that is, Google it. It's one of the first things on YouTube. It's not really, but back when YouTube was very first starting out, it was kind of a big deal. You launch a warthog clear over the mountain, because they didn't blow up back then. Hunters. I don't remember. Can you splatter hunters in this game? We're going to find out. No, we're not. We are not going to find out. We're just going to drive down here. There's an OS down here, too, isn't there? Or is it invis? Nope, OS. So if you need it, which I do, I'm going to grab it and I'm going to sneak around. So this is the professional way to play this mission, is to go that way first, come back here, go through the tunnel and kill the hunters with your pistol. It's very easy. We're not exactly trying that hard, though. Oh, bugger. They saw me. Well, one of them did. Now they both will. You want to go on the other side and <laughs> get their attention? Oh, you're here, too? Okay, I'll go. I'm good. Whoa! Huh. Did you get him? I got him. Yeah, I got him. He turned just enough for me to nip him. This one won't do it. Okay. Take that, you you bastard. Alright, let's go handle some business. Now we're gonna go into the big thing. The big building. And that elite that came out isn't out. He's hiding. He's a bastard. He's going to try to murder you. Don't turn left. You don't want to turn left right away. What you want to do is go this way. And if you come over here, a little scene happens. Because reasons. Not sure why this is in here, but it is. Will I ever let fans play in this? I don't think that would be a good idea because uh, I don't I don't know the people, and it could be problematic for live streaming purposes. I don't think I'll ever stream the uh, voice chat. Oh, that's right. The elite's not even here yet. He's later on the one that we saw. So you can turn left and do whatever you want. So now you just have to keep making your way through the area. There's lots of doors and, and routes and things, but it's best to always have the high ground. And shoot things in the head, if you can. But I'm gonna go the other way, and we're gonna we're gonna do a pincer maneuver. Oh, I forgot I have rockets. I just almost blew myself up. Nice toss. And the doorway is right here. We're going to keep going down. Jackals love to... Come on, I'm shooting him right in his weak spot and it's not counting. Jackals love to fill up these staircases. And you do not want to uh, accidentally fall off. You will take the fall damage. It's not a good idea. There is one area in here where you can kind of skip a segment. But it's not really worth it. Even on Legendary, it's not that helpful. There should be a few more hunters in here, right? Yeah, it's yep. somewhere in there. I don't have my OS, I can't take a hit again. Neither can he, though. He is freaking out. Ah! Wrong green thing. Orange! Orange! There we go. I think you like shooting me. I have a feeling you're doing it on porpoise. I think the input lag might be part of the reason I'm missing. Oh, you have the, I don't get- I thought this game didn't have the lag. That's annoying. It's not bad. It's just- throws me off a little bit. It's understandable. Even a couple of milliseconds, anything over like 30 milliseconds is noticeable. So you can just drop down right there and go this way and go straight down. You don't have to go around anywhere. Or you can go that way. Doesn't really matter. 
This is a room to grab OS or uh, active camo. I mean, comes in handy, but we won't really need it on this difficulty, so no big deal. Uh, did you shoot him? I was gonna sneak around and bop him with my active camo. That's okay. There should be a bunch of ammo and stuff out here, if I remember correctly. Maybe that's a different... Oh, there's the OS. You can have that. Where's the room with the... Uh... Oh, those are the elites I was thinking of earlier. Yeah, there they are. There's a there's a platform with a bunch of ammo and stuff. That's the top floor, I think. Is it? Yeah. Wow, this guy's a stubborn SOB. This one doesn't like fighting. He's a pacifist. Oop! <laughs> Did you just might punch have me? You a little bit. There. <laughs> there he goes. All right, so he this did. is where we want to be. We need to hit this button. That's what it looks like originally. Analyzing. <gasps> Halo's control center is located there. That structure appears to be some sort of temple or shrine, if I've interpreted this correctly. A shrine is an unlikely place for such a significant situation. And now we have to make our way back, and there's going to be a lot of dudes. It's a lot of dudes on the way back. And some epic music. I don't know if it's loud enough for you guys to really appreciate the music in the stream because it, it gets too loud in the Master Chief collection. But I think you'll be able to hear it if you try. And you'll want to because it's pretty good. I'm gonna I'm gonna let loose my rockets. You can shoot the jackals from in here, by the way, everybody. Or you can just grenade them. That's it's pretty effective. I'm all out of pistol again. Teamwork. This calls for a grenade. Oh. There we go. That was much better. Huh. I wonder what that area was originally for. It's a big empty space. It had to have been something. <laughs> the grenades are so overpowered in this game. I can't throw them for crap though. I'm so used to throwing a lot. Whoa, whoops! I used to that hurt a lot. Killing, killing my teammate. I'm used to uh, throwing them way farther. I'm all out of ammo again. Yeah, there's the ammo dump. It's down here, isn't it? Or am I still missing it? No, this is not. It's it. above us. Where is it? It's at the it? top, yeah. Why do I remember it incorrectly? I don't know. You just ran into oh, those shoot. grenades. Yeah, I did. I'll be alright. I have a rocket launcher. I'll let you go up front. I'm not gonna really waste them. Right. Save it for that sword elite. Yeah. Well, there's still a bunch of elites coming up, isn't there? Or no. On the way out, yeah. Yeah, there's a, at, the, a at the very top, there's a bunch. Alright, your ammo thing should be on this floor. Over here. I hope so. Watch out. Grenade out! Oh, we're like a real-life, high-function right military unit. There it is. So there's the ammo and stuff. Cool. Pistol. There it is. Whoa. Oh, he had the same idea I had. Pretty sure he just killed his, his teammates. You know one thing that I find interesting I don't remember the uh, reload time being so long in this game seems to be a really really long reload <laughs> maybe it's because I'm used to games like destiny Ooh. 
We can go out right that way. I'm gonna go this way though, just to clear out the bad guys. And there we are. So now, now, we wanna be careful. Like by having ammo in your gun before you go around the corner. I wonder if you could crouch and melee him. He's not facing the right direction. Does he normally face backwards? That works. I don't so remember good. him. I remember him being a threat, not facing the wrong way. Oh well. Now we have to fight a bunch of invis invisible guys, and then we're done. And I don't think we're gonna make the part time though. <laughs> we're already doubled. That was a big one. That's what she said. Oh, there's still more. I have so little health. Come on, shields. There we go. They all dead? I think they're all dead. That's why you save the rocket launcher. Also, you can kill the pilot. No, I don't think you can. Not in this game. And we're done. Let's get moving. Foe hammer. Here are coordinates and a flight plan I've worked on. Uh, Cortana, these coordinates are underground. The Covenant did a thorough seismic scan. And my analysis shows that Halo is honeycombed with deep tunnels, which circle the whole ring. I hope your analysis is on the money, Cortana. Yet they're guarding where we're going, and act surprised when something shows up. <laughs> oh, Halo. But that's for next week. That's the end of the mission. How do we do? 28 minutes. That's not even double. That's way better than last time. We're really good at this. Hey, I just got some kind of achievement thing. Cool. Why, is the, why do the achievements have diamonds on them? If they're That's rare. New. Oh. Well, how about that? That wasn't bad for not trying and explaining stuff. We could probably blow through it in 15 if we really wanted to. I mean, I don't know if you have. I've done all those already. Anyway, that's it, guys. That's it. That's the next mission. The next one, next week, next Thursday at 7, is probably the most iconic Halo mission ever. That's my guess. Uh, what would you say, Dan? You think that might be it? Yeah, I mean, my favorite was always the one we just did, just because I liked the beach and driving around the Warthogs. Yeah. But yeah, the next one's probably the most iconic. Yeah, I think, I, I agree with you. I enjoy this one, even though it's a pretty basic one. Assault on the Control Room does incorporate some, uh, I like it because of the outside areas. Once you go through the inside, and then you go back inside, and then back outside. I like that. But uh, everybody's got their own taste. But it's a good one. You want to come back next week. This is when Halo really starts to pick up. I think Assault in the Control Room is kind of a turning point from no more hand-holding. You, you have to do some shooty, shooty work, and it's pretty fun. So that's what we're going to do next week. It's a very nice mission. So come back for that. 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And then we do stream Saturdays at 8. I don't know if we're going to do GTA or Overwatch this week. Uh, I kind of want to do GTA because you guys seem to like that last week, but I don't know for sure. And then Mondays also at, uh, what time do we do Mondays? 7 o'clock on Mondays, Eastern Standard Time. And that one's usually Overwatch because they let out the new arcade stuff. So I like to play arcade on Mondays and lose a whole bunch because that's <laughs> generally what happens. Although, Dan, I do think that's because you're such a higher rank than us. Because after uh, you left, I went out and played in... And I, I won, like, every match. So that we're losing because you're too good. I apologize. I think that's what it is. That's the problem. Hey, look at our time multiplier. Multiplier. <laughs> I said that funny. It's 117. All right, guys. Oh, that's it for tonight. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, make sure you come back next week to continue the Halo series. And then Mondays and Saturdays as well. See you guys next time.